This is brought to you by the Praetorian on both YouTube and Facebook. The Gregorian calendar is the calendar used in most of the world. It is named after Pope Gregory XIII, who introduced it in October 1582. The calendar spaces leap years to make the average year 365.2425 days long, approximating the 365.2422 day tropical year that is determined by the Earth's revolution around the Sun. The rule for leap years is, Every year that is exactly divisible by 4 is a leap year, except for years that are exactly divisible by 100. But these centurial years are leap years if they are exactly divisible by 400. For example, in the years 1700, 1800, and 1900 do not leap years, but the year 2000 is. The calendar was developed as a correction to the Julian calendar, shortening the average year by 0.0075 days to stop the drift of the calendar concerning the equinoxes. To deal with the 10 days difference between calendar and reality that this drift had already reached, the date was advanced so that October 4, 1582 was followed by October 15, 1582. There was no discontinuity in the cycle of weekdays or the Anno Domini calendar era. The reform also altered the lunar cycle used by the church to calculate the date for Easter, Computus, restoring it to the time of the year as originally celebrated by the early church. The reform was adopted initially by the Catholic countries of Europe and their overseas possessions. Over the next three centuries, the Protestant and Eastern Orthodox countries also moved to what they call the improved calendar, with Greece being the last European country to adopt the calendar in 1923. To unambiguously specify a date during the transition period, or in history texts, dual dating is sometimes used to specify both old style and new style dates abbreviated as O.S. and N.S. respectively. Due to globalization in the 20th century, the calendar has also been adopted by most non-Western countries for civil purposes. The calendar era carries the alternative secular name of Common Era. era. A year is divided into 12 months, January 31st, February 28th, 29 in leap years, March 31st, April 30th, May 31st, June 30th, July 31st, August 31st, September 30th, October 31st, November 30th, December 31st. The Gregorian calendar is a solar calendar with 12 months of 28 to 31 days each. A regular Gregorian year consists of 365 days, but in certain years known as leap years, a leap day is added to February. Gregorian years are identified by consecutive year numbers. A calendar date is fully specified by the year, numbered according to a calendar era, in this case, Anno Domini, or Common Era, the month, identified by name or number, and the day of the month, numbered sequentially starting from 1. Although the calendar year currently runs from January 1st to December 31st, at previous times year numbers were based on a different starting point within the calendar, see the beginning of the year section below. In the Julian calendar, 
A leap year occurred every four years, and the leap day was inserted by Dublin February 24. The Gregorian reform omitted a leap day in three of every 400 years, and left the leap day unchanged. However, it has become customary in the modern period to number the days sequentially with no gaps, and February 29th is typically considered as the leap day. Before the 1969 revision of the Roman calendar, the Roman Catholic Church delayed February feasts after the 23rd by one day in leap years. Masses celebrated according to the previous calendar still reflect this delay. Calendar cycles repeat completely every 400 years, which equals 146,097 days. Of these 400 years, 303 are regular years of 365 days, and 97 are leap years of 366 days. A mean calendar year is 365 plus 97 slash 400 days equals 365.2425 days, or 365 days, 5 hours, 49 minutes, and 12 seconds. Gregorian Reform The, Gr the Gregorian calendar was a reform of the Julian calendar. It was instituted by papal bull Inter Gravissimus dated February 24, 1582 by Pope Gregory XIII, after whom the calendar is named. The motivation for the adjustment was to bring the date for the celebration of Easter to the time of year in which it was celebrated, when it was introduced by the early church. The error in the Julian calendar, its assumption that there are exactly 365.25 days in a year, had led to the date of the equinox according to the calendar drifting from the observed reality, and thus an error had been introduced into the calculation of the date of Easter. Although a recommendation of the First Council of Nicaea in 325 specified that all Christians should celebrate Easter on the same day, it took almost five centuries before virtually all Christians achieved that objective by adopting the rules of the Church of Alexandria. See Easter for the issues which arose. Background Because the date of Easter is a function, the computus, of the date of the Northern Hemisphere, Spring Equinox, the Catholic Church considered the increasing diversity between the canonical date of the equinox and observed reality had become unacceptable. Easter is celebrated on the Sunday, after the ecclesiastical full moon on, or after March 21st, which was adopted as an approximation to the March equinox. European scholars had been well aware, aware of the calendar drift since the early medieval period. Bede, writing in the 8th century, showed that the accumulated error in his time was more than three days. Roger Bacon in C. 1200 estimated the error at seven or eight days. Dante, writing C. 1300, was aware of the need for calendar reform. The first attempt to go forward with such a reform was undertaken by Pope Sixtus IV, who in 1475 invited Reggio Montanus to the Vatican for this purpose. However, the project was interrupted by the death of Reggio Montanus shortly after his arrival in Rome. The increase of astronomical knowledge and the precision of observations towards the end of the 15th century made the question more pressing. Numerous publications over the following decades called for a calendar reform, among them two papers sent to the Vatican by the University of Salamanca in 1515 and 1578. But the project was not taken up again until the 1540s and implemented only under Pope Gregory XIII R. 1572 to 1585. Preparation. In 1545, the Council of Trent authorized Pope Paul III to reform the calendar, requiring that the date of the vernal equinox is restored to that which is held at the time of the First Council of Nicaea in 325, and that an alteration to the calendar is designed to prevent future drift. This would allow for more consistent and accurate scheduling of the Feast of Easter. In 1577, a compendium was sent to expert mathematicians outside the Reform Commission for comments. Some of these experts, including Giambattista Benedetti and Giuseppe Melito, believed Easter should be computed from the true motions of the sun and moon, rather than using a tabular method. But these recommendations were not adopted. The reform ado adopted was a modification of a proposal made by the Calabrian Dr. Aloysius Lilius, or Lilio. Lilius's proposal included reducing the number of leap years in four centuries from 100 to 97, by making three out of four centurial years common instead of leap years.
He also produced an original and practical scheme for adjusting the impacts of the moon when calculating the annual date of Easter, solving a long-standing obstacle to calendar reform. Ancient tables provided the sun's mean longitude. The German mathematician Christopher Clavius, the architect of the Gregorian calendar, noted that the tables agreed neither on the time when the sun passed through the vernal equinox nor on the length of the mean tropical year. Tycho Brahe also noticed discrepancies. The Gregorian leap year rule, 97 leap years in 400 years, was put forward by Petrus Potatus of Verona in 1560. He noted that it is consistent with the tropical year of the Alphonsine tables, and with the mean tropical year of Copernicus, De Revolutionibus, and Erasmus Reinhold, Pretenic tables. The three mean tropical years in Babylonian sexagesimals as the excess over 365 days, the way they would have been extracted from the tables of mean longitude, were 14, 33,9,57, Alphonsine, 14, 33,11,12, Copernicus, and 14, 33,9,24, Reinhold. All values are the same to two places, 1433, and this is also the mean length of the Gregorian year. Thus Potato's solution would have commended itself to the astronomers. Lilius's, Lilius's proposals had two components. First, he proposed a correction to the length of the year. The mean tropical year is 365.24219 days long, a commonly used value in Lilius's time, from the Alphonsine tables, is 365.2425463 days, as the average length of a Julian year is 365.25 days. The Julian year is almost 11 minutes longer than the mean tropical year. The discrepancy results in a drift of about 3 days every 400 years. Lilius's proposal resulted in an average year of 365.2425 days, see accuracy. At the time of Gregory's reform there had already been a drift of 10 days since the Council of Nicaea, resulting in the vernal equinox falling on 10 or March 11, instead of the ecclesiastically fixed date of March 21st, and if unreformed it would have drifted further. Lilius proposed that the 10-day drift should be corrected by deleting the Julian leap day on each of its 10 occurrences over a period of 40 years, thereby providing for a gradual return of the equinox to March 21st. Lilius's work was expanded upon by Christopher Clavius in a closely argued, 800-page volume. He would later defend his and Lilius's work against detractors. Clavius's opinion was that the correction should take place in one move, and it was this advice that prevailed with Gregory. The second component consisted of an approximation that would provide an accurate yet simple, rule-based calendar. Lilius's formula was a 10-day correction to revert the drift since the Council of Nicaea, and the imposition of a leap day in only 97 years in 400 rather than in one year in four. The proposed rule was those years divisible by 100 would be leap years only if they were divisible by 400, as well. The 19-year cycle used for the lunar calendar was also to be corrected by one day every 300 or 400 years, eight times in 2,500 years, along with corrections for the years that are no longer leap years, i.e. 1,700, 1,800, 1,900, 2,100, etc. A new method for computing the date of Easter was introduced. When the new ca calendar was put in use, the error accumulated in the 13th century, since the Council of Nicaea was corrected by a deletion of 10 days. The Julian calendar day Thursday, October 4, 1582 was followed by the first day of the Gregorian calendar Friday, October 15, 1582. The cycle of weekdays was not affected. First printed Gregorian calendar. A month after having decreed the reform, the Pope, with a brief of April 3, 1582, granted to one Antony Lilio the exclusive right to publish the calendar for a period of 10 years. The Lunario Novo Secondo La Nuova Reforma was printed by Vincenzo Accalti, one of the first calendars printed in Rome after the reform notes at the bottom, that it was signed with papal authorization, and by Lilio, con licencia degli superiori, et permissu ant, onii lilage. The papal brief was revoked on September 20, 1582, because Antonio Lilio proved unable to keep up with the demand for copies. 
Adoption. Although Gregory's reform was enacted in the most solemn of forms available to the Church, the Bull had no authority beyond the Catholic Church and the Papal States. The changes that he was proposing were changes to the civil calendar, over which he had no authority. They required adoption by the civil authorities in each country to have legal effect. The Bull Inter Gravissimus became the law of the Catholic Church in 1582, but it was not recognized by Protestant churches, Eastern Orthodox churches, Oriental Orthodox churches, and a few others. Consequently, the days on which Easter and related holidays were celebrated by different Christian churches again diverged. On September, September 29, 1582, Philip II of Spain decreed the change from the Julian to the Gregorian calendar. This affected much of Roman Catholic Europe, as Philip was at the time ruler over Spain and Portugal, as well as much of Italy. In these territories, as well as in the Polish, Lithuanian Commonwealth, ruled by Anna Jagiellon, and in the Papal States, the new calendar was implemented on the date specified by the Bull, with Julian Thursday, October 4, 1582, being followed by Gregorian Friday, October 15, 1582. The Spanish and Portuguese colonies followed somewhat later de facto because of delays in communication. Many Protestant countries initially objected to adopting a Catholic innovation. Some Protestants feared the new calendar was part of a plot to return them to the Catholic fold. For example, the British could not bring themselves to adopt the Catholic system explicitly. The annex to their calendar, New Style, Act 1750 established a computation for the date of Easter that achieved the same result as Gregory's rules, without actually referring to him. Britain and the British Empire, including the eastern part of what is now the United States, adopted the Gregorian calendar in 1752. Sweden followed in 1753. Before 1917, Turkey used the lunar Islamic calendar with the Hijra era for general purposes and the Julian calendar for fiscal purposes. The start of the fiscal year was eventually fixed on March 1st, and the year number was roughly equivalent to the Hijra year. See Rumi calendar. As the solar year is longer than the lunar year this originally entailed the use of escape years every so often, when the number of the fiscal year would jump. From March 1st, 1917, the fiscal year became Gregorian, rather than Julian. On January 1st, 1926, the use of the Gregorian calendar was extended to include use for general purposes, and the number of the year became the same as in most other countries. Adoption, adoption of the Gregorian calendar. Year country slash IES slash areas. 1582 Spain, Portugal, France, Poland, Italy, Catholic Low Countries, Luxembourg, and Colonies. 1584 Kingdom of Bohemia. 1610 Prussia. 1648 Alsace. 1682 Strasbourg. 1700 Germany, Swiss Cantons, Protestant Low Countries, Norway, Denmark. Protestant states in Germany used an astronomical Easter from 1700 to 1774, based on Kepler's Rudolphine tables, differing from the Gregorian Easter twice, one week early in 1724 and 1744. 1752 Great Britain and Colonies. 1753 Sweden and Finland. 1873 Japan. 1875 Egypt, 1896 Korea, 1912 China, Albania, 1915 Latvia, Lithuania, 1916 Bulgaria, 1918 Russia, Estonia, 1919 Romania, Yugoslavia, Walker, 1945, P.218, 1923 Greece, 1926 Turkey, 2016 Saudi Arabia, difference between Gregorian Gregorian and Julian calendar dates. This section always places the intercalary day on February 29th, even though it was always obtained by doubling February 24th. The bisextum, twice sixth, or bisextile day, until the late Middle Ages. The Gregorian calendar is proleptic before 1582, assumed to exist before 1582, and the difference between Gregorian and Julian calendar dates increases by three days every four centuries. All date ranges are inclusive. The following equation gives the number of days, actually, dates, that the Gregorian calendar is ahead of the Julian calendar, called the secular difference between the two calendars. A 
negative difference means the Julian calendar is ahead of the Gregorian calendar. Backslash display style D equals backslash left backslash a floor. Y slash 100. Backslash right backslash or floor dash backslash left backslash a floor. Y slash 400. Backslash right backslash or floor minus 2. Where backslash display style D is the secular difference and backslash display style Y is the year using astronomical year numbering. That is, use year BC, 1 for BC years. Backslash display style backslash left backslash a floor X backslash right backslash or floor means that if the result of the division is not an integer it is rounded down to the nearest integer. Thus during the 1900s, 1900 divided by 400 is equal to 4, while during the 500 S, 500 slash 400 equals 2. The general rule, in years which are leap years in the Julian calendar, but not the Gregorian, is up to Febru February 28th in the calendar being converted from add one day less, or subtract one day more than the calculated value. Give February the appropriate number of days for the calendar being converted into. When subtracting days to calculate the Gregorian equivalent of February 29th, Julian, February 29th is discounted. Thus if the calculated value is for the Gregorian equivalent of this date is February 24th. Gregorian range Julian range difference. From October 15th, 1582 from October 5th, 1582 10 days. To February 28th, 1700. To February 18th, 1700. From March 1st, 1700 from February 19th, 1711 days. To February 28th, 1800. To February 17th, 1800. From March 1st, 1800 from February 18th, 1812 days. To February 28th, 1900. To February 16th, 1900. From March 1st, 1900 from February 17th, 1913 days. To February 28th, 2100. To February 15th, 2100. From March 1st, 2100 from February 16th. 2114 days to February 28, 2200 to February 14, 2200 beginning of the year the year used in dates during the Roman Republic and the Roman Empire was the consular year which began on the day when consuls first entered office probably May 1st before 222 BC March 15th from 222 BC and January 1st from 153 BC the Julian calendar which began in 45 BC, continued to use January 1st as the first day of the new year. Even though the year used for dates changed, the civil year always displayed its months in the order January to December from the Roman Republican period until the present. During the Middle Ages, under the influence of the Catholic Church, many Western European countries moved the start of the year to one of several important Christian festivals 25 December, supposed Nativity of Jesus, March 25th, Annunciation, or Easter, France, while the Byzantine Empire began its year on September 1st, and Russia did so on March 1st until 1492, when the new year was moved to September 1st. In common usage, January 1st was regarded as New Year's Day and celebrated as such, but from the 12th century until 1751 the legal year in England began on March 25th, Lady Day. So, for example, the parliamentary record lists the execution of Charles I on January 30th as occurring in 1648, as the year did not end until March 24th. Although later histories adjust the start of the year to January 1st and record the execution as occurring in 1649. Most Western European countries changed the start of the year to January 1st before they adopted the Gregorian calendar. For example, Scotland changed the start of the Scottish New Year to January 1st in 1600. This means that 1599 was a short year. England, Ireland, and the British colonies changed the start of the year to January 1st in 1752. So 1751 was a short year with only 282 days. Though in England the start of the tax year remained at March 25th, OS, April 5th, NS, until 1800, when it moved to April 6th. Later in 1752 in September the Gregorian calendar was introduced throughout Britain and the British colonies. See the section adoption. These two reforms were implemented by the calendar, New Style, Act 1750. 
In some countries, an official decree or law specified that the start of the year should be January 1st. For such countries, a specific year when a one January year became the norm can be identified. In other countries, the customs varied, and the start of the year moved back and forth as fashion and influence from other countries dictated various customs. Neither the papal bull nor its attached canons explicitly fix such a date, though it is implied by two tables of saints' days, one labeled 1582 which ends on December 31st, and another for any full year that begins on January 1st. It also specifies its epact relative to January 1st, in contrast with the Julian calendar, which specified it relative to March 22nd. The old date was derived from the Greek system. The earlier Supputatio Romana specified it relative to January 1st. Herod in, in 1793 France abandoned the Gregorian calendar in favor of the French Republican calendar. This change was reverted in 1805. Dual dating. During the period between 1582, when the first countries adopted the Gregorian calendar, and 1923, when the last European country adopted it, it was often necessary to indicate the date of some event in both the Julian calendar and in the Gregorian calendar, for example, 1021 February 1750-51, where the dual year accounts for some countries already beginning their numbered year on January 1st while others were still using some other date. Even before 1582, the year sometimes had to be double dated because of the different beginnings of the year in various countries. Woolley, writing in his biography of John D. 1527, 1608-9, notes that immediately after 1582 English letter writers customarily used two dates on their letters, one OS and one NS. Old style and new style dates, old style OS and new style NS, are sometimes added to dates to identify which calendar reference system is used for the date given. In Britain and its colonies, where the Calendar Act of 1750 altered the start of the year and also aligned the British calendar with the Gregorian calendar, there is some confusion as to what these terms mean. They can indicate that the start of the Julian year has been adjusted to start on January 1st, NS, even though contemporary documents use a different start of year, OS, or to indicate that a date conforms to the Julian calendar, OS, formerly in use in many countries, rather than the Gregorian calendar, NS. Proleptic, proleptic Gregorian calendar. Extending the Gregorian calendar backward to dates preceding its official introduction produces a proleptic calendar, which should be used with some caution. For ordinary purposes, the dates of events occurring before October 15, 1582 are generally shown as they appeared in the Julian calendar, with the year starting on January 1st, and no conversion to their Gregorian equivalents. For example, the Battle of Agincourt is universally considered to have been fought on October 25, 1415 which is St. Crispin's Day. Usually, the mapping of new dates onto old dates with a start of year adjustment works well with little confusion for events that happened before the introduction of the Gregorian calendar. But for the period between the first introduction of the Gregorian calendar on October 15, 1582 and its introduction in Britain on September 14, 1752, there can be considerable confusion between events in continental Western Europe and British domains in English language histories. Events in continental Western Europe are usually reported in English language histories as happening under the Gregorian calendar. For example, the Battle of Blenheim is always given on August 13, 1704. Confusion occurs when an event affects both. For example, William III of England set sail from the Netherlands on November 11, 1688, Gregorian calendar, and arrived at Brixham in England on November 5, 1688, Julian calendar. Shakespeare and Cervantes seemingly died on the same date, April 23, 1616, but Cervantes predeceased Shakespeare by 10 days in real time, as Spain used the Gregorian calendar, but Britain used the Julian calendar. This coincidence encouraged UNESCO to make April 23 the World Book and Copyright Day. Astronomy. 
Astronomers avoid this ambiguity by the use of the Julian day number. For dates before the year 1, unlike the proleptic Gregorian calendar used in the international standard ISO 8601, the traditional proleptic Gregorian calendar, like the Julian calendar, does not have a year 0, and instead uses the ordinal numbers 1, 2, both for years AD and BC. Thus the traditional timeline is 2 BC, 1 BC, AD 1, and AD 2. ISO 8601 uses astronomical year numbering which includes a year zero, and negative numbers before it. Thus the ISO 8601 timeline is 0001, 0000, 0001, and 0002. Months. The Gregorian calendar continued to employ the Julian months, which have Latinate names and irregular numbers of days. January, 31 days, from Latin menses Iannuarius, month of Janus, the Roman god of gates, doorways, beginnings, and endings. February, 28, days in common and 29 in leap years, from Latin menses Februarius, month of the Februa, the Roman festival of purgation and purification. Cognate with fever, the Etruscan death god Februus, purifier, and the PIE word for sulfur. March, 31 days, from Latin menses Martius, month of Mars, the Roman war god. April, 30 days, from Latin, menses Aprilis, of uncertain meaning but usually derived from some form of the verb Aprire, to open or the name of the goddess Aphrodite. May, 31 days, from Latin menses Maius, month of Maya, a Roman vegetation goddess whose name is cognate with Latin Magnus, great and English major. June, 30 days, from Latin menses Iunius, month of Juno, the Roman goddess of marriage, childbirth, and rule. July, 31 days, from Latin menses Iulius, month of Julius Caesar, the month of Caesar's birth, instituted in 44 BC as part of his calendrical reforms. August, 31 days, from Latin menses Augustus, month of Augustus, instituted by Augustus in 8 BC in agreement with July, and from the occurrence during the month of several important events. During his rise to power, September, 30 days, from Latin menses September, September, 7th month, of the 10-month Roman year of Romulus C, 750 BC. October, 31 days, from Latin menses October, 8th month, of the 10-month Roman year of Romulus C, 750 BC. November, 30 days, from Latin menses November, 9th month, of the 10-month Roman year of Romulus C, 750 BC. December, 31 days, from Latin menses December, 10th month, of the 10-month Roman year of Romulus C, 750 BC. Europeans sometimes attempt to remember the number of days in each month by memorizing some form of the traditional verse 30 days hath September. It appears in Latin, Italian, and French, and belongs to a broad oral tradition. But the earliest currently attested form of the poem is the English marginalia, inserted into a calendar of St. C, 1425. 30 days hath November, April, June, and September. Of Xvige is but Oon, and Ale the Remanot triple X and J. 30 days have November, April, June, and September. Of 28 is but 1, and all the remnant 30 and 1. The variations appeared in Mother Goose, and continue to be taught at schools. The unhelpfulness of such involved mnemonics has been parroted as 30 days hath September slash, but all the rest I can't remember. But it has also been called probably the only 16th century poem most ordinary citizens know by heart. A common nonverbal alternative is the knuckle mnemonic, considering the knuckles of one's hands as months with 31 days, and the lower spaces between them as the months with fewer days. Using two hands, one may start from either pinky knuckle as January, and count across, omitting the space between the index knuckles, July and August. The same procedure can be done using the knuckles of a single hand, returning from the last, July, to the first, August, and continuing through. A similar mnemonic is to move up a piano keyboard in semitones from an F key, taking the white keys as the longer months, and the black keys as the shorter ones. Week. Weeks. In conjunction with the system of months, there is a system of weeks. A physical or electronic calendar provides conversion from a given date to the weekday, and shows multiple dates for a given weekday and month. 
Calculating the day of the week is not very simple because of the irregularities in the Gregorian system. When the Gregorian calendar was adopted by each country, the weekly cycle continued uninterrupted. For example, in the case of the few countries that adopted the reformed calendar on the date proposed by Gregory XIII for the calendar's adoption, Friday, October 15, 1582, the preceding date was Thursday, October 4, 1582, Julian calendar. Opinions vary about the numbering of the days of the week. ISO 8601, in common use worldwide, starts with Monday equals 1. Printed monthly calendar grids often list Mondays in the first, left, column of dates, and Sundays in the last. In North America, the week typically begins on Sunday and ends on Saturday. Accuracy. The Gregorian calendar improves the approximation made by the Julian calendar by skipping three Julian leap days in every 400 years, giving an average year of 365.2425 mean solar days long. This approximation has an error of about one day per 3,030 years concerning the current value of the mean tropical year. However, because of the precession of the equinoxes, which is not constant, and the movement of the perihelion, which affects the Earth's orbital speed, the error with respect to the astronomical vernal equinox is variable. Using the average interval between vernal equinoxes near 2000 of 365.24237 days, implies an error closer to one day every 7,700 years. By any criterion, the Gregorian calendar is substantially more accurate than the one day in 128 years error of the Julian calendar, average year 365.25 days. In the 19th century, Sir John Herschel proposed a modification to the Gregorian calendar with 969 leap days every 4,000 years instead of 970 leap days that the Gregorian calendar would insert over the same period. This would reduce the average year to 365.24225 days. Herschel's proposal would make the year 4000, and multiples thereof, common instead of leap. While this modification has often been proposed since it has never been officially adopted, on time scales of thousands of years, the Gregorian calendar falls behind the astronomical seasons. This is because the Earth's speed of rotation is gradually slowing down, which makes each day slightly longer over time. See tidal acceleration and leap second, while the year maintains a more uniform duration. Proposed reforms. The following are proposed reforms of the Gregorian calendar. Holocene calendar. International fixed calendar, also called the international perpetual calendar. World calendar. World season calendar. Leap week calendars. Pax calendar. Symmetry 454. Hey, Henry permanent calendar. by the Praetorian on both YouTube and Facebook. We thank you for your participation. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, share, make comments. We love feedback.